So I, I got involved in politics at a very young age. Before I could even drive, I was volunteering on political campaigns. The candidates would actually drive me around, which was kind of fun. I would sit in the back seat and kind of be a fly on the wall. And I was hooked and I spent a lot of my free time in high school volunteering on political campaigns. And then when it got time to go to college, I thought, hey, where else should I go except for Washington, D.C.? So went to Washington, D.C., decided to focus on international relations. And I did that for an undergraduate degree and then did that for a graduate degree. And then at that point, I was, I was looking for some different jobs. And I thought, well, maybe, uh, maybe a little break or something from politics would be nice. I had gotten maybe a, a little... Uh, a little burnout, a little cynical, perhaps. You know, seeing politics up close, of course, it's it's uh, dirtier than it is from from afar, right? And so I ended up going into the private sector, and I, I did market research there for a while, and I I missed uh, the conversations about politics, though. I, I missed discussing that. I missed uh, kind of drawing my drawing on my degree, and while all that was going on, I was I was really kind of wrestling with this question about well. How is it that you can take a, a passion for politics and a passion for discipleship and, and make something of that? Is there, is there some kind of overlap? Because they seem very separate fields, especially, uh, you know, when I was younger. It seemed like, well, maybe God called some people to the ministry and God called some people into politics, but they were really kind of separate roles and there wasn't much overlap between that. And I was I was looking for some way to kind of combine both. I was, was passionate about discipleship. I was passionate about politics. And I started uh, thinking about a career change. I'd, I'd been in market research, I think, for about 10 years or something at that point. And I thought, well, maybe I could move back to Washington. And there's some faith-based organizations there that I could get involved in. And really on a, on a whim, it was probably one of these like 2 a.m. kind of things where I was sitting there and I thought, you know, it sounds like fun to teach political science classes at a Christian university. I, I bet that would be kind of a fun thing to do, not for a career maybe, but on the side. And I, I shot off a, an email to a local university and said, hey, if you're ever looking for an adjunct, I'd be happy to do this. And I think within a couple of weeks, it assigned a class to me. <laughs> it moved very rapidly. And I went into the classroom and it was just it was just magic. It was this great experience. It was an evening class. I bet there were about a dozen students in there. And here we were, and we were talking about politics, and we were talking about faith, and we were talking about scripture, and, and how all this comes together. And there were a lot of big questions there that I didn't necessarily have an answer to, but I would just kind of throw it out there and, and see what the students had to say. And we would kind of kick these things around. And I thought, this is so much fun, I should, I should sign up for another class, and then another class, and another class. And I I kept doing that, and then finally, I don't know, after about two or three years, it kind of dawned on me, maybe, maybe this is what God wants me to do. Maybe this is the overlap between my passion for politics and discipleship, because I felt like it was really important to have these conversations. You know, when I, I, I talked to a guy one time, and he said, what is it that you study? And I said, well, I study uh, religion and politics. And he said, well, I was told you were not supposed to talk about those things in polite company. And I kind of laughed. But there's some truth to that, right? We, we're all hesitant to talk about politics. We're hesitant to talk about faith sometimes, and especially how those two come together. And so when you go into a church, nobody wants to talk about it. It's like this radioactive subject that you never want to get into. And what I found was the great thing about teaching classes on political science at a Christian university is, hey, you've got a perfect venue there. And we need to be having these conversations within the church about what does Scripture say about all this stuff? What does this mean as far as our political views, the way that we look at our leaders, the way that we relate to our, our government? And so we we're having all these uh, questions and, and wrestling with all this stuff. And I thought, well, maybe this is what God wants me to do. And I kind of explored it a little bit. I very quickly realized that, well, if you got to do this, you got to go get a Ph.D., Really, and so that meant going back to school, which was kind of intimidating, and that was kind of a, a fun journey there of, of trying to find out where God wanted me to go, and it's kind of a, another deal. I was applying to different schools, and they weren't really uh, panning out, and then somewhere again about 2 a.m., these things always seem to happen in the middle of the night, right? 2 a.m., I decide, oh, you know what? I should look at Baylor and see what Baylor's got going on, and I found a program there that was a, a great fit for me, and again, about two weeks later, I was signed up for the program and started taking classes. 
uh, not too much long after that. Wrapped up my PhD and was looking for a full-time job and, and ended up coming uh, here to Laterno and I have just loved it ever since. I've, I've loved the opportunity again to have these conversations, to talk about ways that our engagement in politics can be evangelistic, uh, ways that we can engage in the political process but in a way that brings glory to God. And, and it, the fun thing about it is it's kind of a long journey, but as I explored this further and had more conversations with students, it, it kind of began to dawn on me that, you know what, there's a lot more overlap here than I thought. You know, that politics is just one more field like business or engineering or aviation or anything else. It's one more field that God calls Christians into. And when we're in that field, the way that we conduct ourselves, the way that we engage with the people around us, that all that can be discipleship, all that can be evangelism, because we show how the way that God has called us to do things is, is distinct, is a little bit different than the way that the world does it. And, and that's what gets me really excited, is to have these conversations with the students and to explore these topics and to try to get all this out on the table and have some good conversations about that. You know, one of the fun things about teaching at Laterno, uh, of course, uh, you know, most of the students come uh, from a Christian background, but they have a, a pretty broad variety of, of political opinions, uh, more so than, than you might think. There's a lot that are kind of very just cynical and um, uh, they're kind of disgusted with the whole process. There's some that are very disinterested, and then you've got some that have a strong opinion one way or another. And one of the fun things that I like to do in the classroom is I like to kind of throw out really controversial statements and see how everybody responds to it. And so uh, a fun one I like to start off the semester with is I'll say, well, uh, we've got these uh, scriptures in Romans that talk about how it's a sin to rebel. So does that mean Thomas Jefferson and George Washington and all those guys were a bunch of sinners? And you see everybody kind of blink for a minute, kind of soaks in, and then we start having a conversation. Well, let's, let's talk about this. Let's talk about what do we do with these kinds of verses and what do we do with our, our kind of political culture here? And, you know, it's, it's fun to kind of discuss these things. It's fun to, to hear the, the students' opinions on this. And one of the things that I, I hope they really learn out of the process is it's not so much that they come to a definitive answer about, you know, what to think about this, but the, the process of let's, let's hear what others have to say. Let's respect each other's opinions. Let's have a civil conversation and agree to disagree. And I think that's something that's just sorely missing in the political culture today and something that we as Christians can really contribute is us, this idea that, look, I'm, I'm willing to hear what you have to say and I may agree, I may disagree, I, I'm going to share my opinion, I, I may do it in a, uh, in a robust manner, um, but that's okay. We can agree to disagree, we can be respectful to each other, I can be grateful for your view and your service and the, and the way that God is working in your life and, and vice versa. And so we can have these kind of conversations together and it doesn't have to be so mean-spirited. We don't have to just tear each other down. It's not a zero-sum game that we as Christians, again, can, can be different in the way that we engage in the political process, that we can set an example, uh, hopefully, of how to have these conversations about how to think about the interests not only of ourselves but other people and, and how to have a more healthy kind of constructive uh, engagement with politics. So the political science program at Laterno is really distinct in a, in a handful of ways. For one, uh, the political science department at Laterno is, is small and so you're not just going to be a number, you're not just going to be another face in the crowd. Uh, we get to know our students, our students get to know us and so that's a, a fun thing that makes it distinct from a lot of other programs out there. A second thing that really distinguishes the program is it's very much faith-based, right? We, in every class that we, we have, we talk about how does our faith inform our view on this? So you're not just learning the academic concepts, the knowledge and the skills, but we're really having a, a pretty in-depth conversation about what does our faith say about this? What does scripture say about this? I like to introduce a little bit of theology into most of my uh, classes. So where we talk about different people that have written theology about politics and the way that we should view government and war and the media and all these other things. So that's, that's the second thing that kind of distinguishes the political science program at Laterno is it's very much faith-based. It's very much gonna challenge you to 
think about the way that your faith intersects with politics. And the third thing that really distinguishes the, the program here, we have a strong emphasis on practical skills, right, in policy. So when you come in, you're not just going to study political science as an abstract economic, uh, sorry, an abstract academic concept. Sometimes I like to say, you know, at a lot of political science programs, the only thing it really prepares you for is to just do graduate work in political science. And that's not what we're about. I mean, certainly the things that we teach you will prepare you for graduate school if that's what you want to do. But we want to make you ready to really have a, a real significant substantive job from day one after you graduate, that you can understand the way that policy works, the way to plug in as an analyst, to implement, to execute policy. And so those are the three things that really kind of distinguish the political science program at Letourneau from other places. Again, the small size, the faith-based nature, and the strong emphasis on kind of practical hands-on skills. Uh, all the students that come and do the political science program here at Letourneau, one of the things they do that's really neat is what they call the practicum. And the practicum can be fulfilled in a couple of different ways. You can do foreign language study, you can study abroad, or you can do an internship. And this is a way that you can kind of get your hands dirty while you're still in school. We structure, structure this so that you're getting some significant practical experience while you're still in school and it really helps prepare you for the real world. Once you graduate and you're, you're out there in the job force and you can go to an employer or prospective grad school and say, hey, you know, I haven't just studied this in the classroom. I've actually done this. I've gone out and I've gotten my hands dirty and let me, sh let me tell you about that and show you what I did.